What's up, Aweber people? Nothing? What is up, Aweber people? There it is. All right, y'all stand up with me real fast. We're going to get it, get it started with some, uh, something a little different. So just stand up one second. Stand up, stand up, stand up. I know, you're sitting down. You're Snapchatting, whatever you guys are doing these days. All right, if you guys don't mind, is this too rude? Can you close your neighbor's laptop? Reach over and then close your neighbor's laptop. Yeah, it's okay. You can do it. Blame it on me. All right, we do this at our team at sumo.me.com and at sumo.com. Whenever we get started, generally do this, and then when we finish it, we'll do it all together. So we're going to clap, but it has to be all at once. And if it's not at once, it's just going to sound horrible. Can you guys do this together? And then we'll get going on the presentation. I'll show you just meaty tactics uh, for growing an email list. You guys ready? One, hands up. Just get ready. Get ready. There it is. Spirit fingers. All right. One, two, three. There it is. Sit down. Let's go. All right, y'all. So who here uses or has heard of sumome.com? There it is. A few of you. Raise your hand. All right. You get a t-shirt. There it is. Limited edition sumome t-shirt powered by whiskey and tacos. There it is. Yes. All right. Before I do my speeches, I generally like to tailor them kind of on the fly to see who's here. Does that work for you guys so you're not bored and you kind of stay engaged with me on it? Oh, I like you. I need you at the front of, she actually, I brought her with me. It's my mom. <laughs> she comes to all my talks. All right, so uh, let's start with simple ones, and then we'll get more complicated. Okay? Women, how many women here? Make some noise, ladies. The women are always the loudest. Watch the fellas. Watch this. Fellas? <laughs> right? <laughs> it's the worst. All right, unlike my friend Timothy, Eagles fans? <laughs> Dallas fans? Be gone with you. <laughs> Why would you come to Philadelphia and talk like that? <laughs> so did anyone notice real quickly? So sumome.com, free tools, grow your email list. Our logo is a crown. Is it coincidence that this is a crown? I, did anyone else notice that? I was staring at it the whole time. It's like a like little crown here. So all right, anyways, bad joke. All right, so why are you guys here today? Why would you guys come spend two days to hang out with us? Email marketing, what about it? Okay, do you have an accent? Philly. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay. What else? Why would you guys come to the event? Shout it out. Make more money. I like that guy. Are you looking for a job? Um, over here on the side, you guys. Why would you guys come? What's new in the digital space? Nathan, you came to speak and hang out. It's good to see you. You guys? Content. Like to learn new things? Anything in particular you want to talk about? Like how to do content better? Yeah. Okay. And then who here wants to actually learn how to grow an email list? Because I can just kill the talk. It's only two. Yo, Tom, can I just be done? Do you need me to do I can finish. You guys can go, get drunk, whatever. Hold on, how many people actually want to grow an email list? Okay, so this side of the room. What are, what are you guys here for? <laughs> All right, you guys zone out. So Reddit, Twitter, TechMeme, CNN, whatever you need to do. All right. So I'm just double checking notes. All right, about me. Uh, I run sumome.com, three tools. With basically, it's what we've built, uh, our company called appsumo.com, which is a group on for geeks. Uh, it's almost a million person newsletter. We send out two deals a week. Uh, healthy seven figure business. We're based in Austin, Texas. Um, so before I begin, I just need to get at something like, I need to feel you guys a little bit more. Is that okay? So who here wants to actually learn about how to grow an email list? I need to hear a little noise. A little bit more, a little bit more. All right, that was good. All right. So where did it all begin? So it all began, and some of you might seem like, oh, no, you worked at Facebook. You must be crazy rich. And this email thing's like super easy for you. One, I'm not that rich, and email's not easy for me. I sit in the conferences just like you did. And two years ago, just for my personal blog, and I'm going to show you a story just like you guys are doing when you're sitting down to grow your own email list. Um, these are the exact tactics I used. Most of them don't cost anything, and a lot of them you can do today. So. I have a personal blog called okdork.com where I talk about marketing. And I started out with about 10,000 email subscribers. And I was like, I had a goal. And what I realized, though, is that you come and hear people like me on stage, and you're like, oh, well, Noah said I should do this, so I do it. And then it doesn't work, and then you do death threats to me. <laughs> right? Do you guys know what I'm talking about? No? OK. Good. Don't do the death threats. So the big thing that I really want you to think about is I will share exact tactics of what I do, and Tim did, and Nathan did. Uh, and you'll read blog posts and all that and so forth. 
but it's your job to go out to the buffet, try out the different things, and see what works for you. The other thing you have to be aware of is that if you're doing what Tim has told you to do and what I'm going to tell you to do, how are you going to compete if your competitors are in this room doing the exact same thing? So you have to look at the root of what you're doing. Why is this working and how do you evolve it? All right, so I worked for Zuck and I went to Zuck one day and I'm like this little Jewish kid. We're both little Jewish kids. And, uh, and I went to him and I said, hey Zuckerberg, we're not making any money. Uh, we got to go make money. And he took me to a conference room. So he walks me to this conference room and we're you know, 23, 24 years old. And he writes, he writes the word growth on the wall, just writes it on a whiteboard. And I was like, well, that's not money. We're, we're, we need to be a business. I, I thought we could sell tickets or something like that. And so he came to me and said, in your business, and in our business in Facebook, there's one priority and that's growth. And so with my businesses, what we've done and we've done well, and Facebook's done pretty well, I think most of you guys use it, uh, is that they focused on one goal, which was world domination. That was honestly what we talked about inside. It sounds like creepy when I say it out loud, doesn't it? All right, I won't, I won't repeat that one. Um, but the point is, is that he focused on one goal, I have focused on one goal, and that seems to work really well. So if you're trying to grow your email list, the most important thing is that you have a very specific goal within a very specific timeline. So my goal was 50,000 email subscri subscribers in one year. So pick your goal. Does anyone here have a goal they want to share? Does anyone have an email list number they have, they have a size they want to share? Someone? It's okay. Yeah. Awesome, and what do you, no. <laughs> Sorry, and you're, three months. Three months, and what do you have now? Okay, it's doable. It's aggressive, but doable. All right, so, and it's all free. If you go to okdork.com slash 50K, there's no upsells or you don't have to opt in for anything. There's no upgrades or downgrades. It's just free. So what you need to do is map out your plan. It's very simple. A lot of you came here from different cities. Anyone international? Nice, where'd you guys come from? Sweden. Cool. From Sweden, really? Yeah. Super cool. Home of Ikea, right? Yeah. Nice. So when you guys were planning your trip, you're like, oh boy, we have to go to these Americans again. I, but, <laughs> sorry, I was going to do a bad America jokes. So it doesn't work well in America. Um, but when you're planning your trip from Sweden, you say, well, I need to get to Philadelphia. So you knew your destination, and then you planned your route. Route. The problem is most of you guys, when you're doing your marketing and you're trying to grow your email list or your businesses with revenue, you're like, yeah, I think I want to be more and I, I kind of think our KPIs or whatever acronyms people use, it, they're going better. But what you need to do is just what you did to get here. Pick a, ver pick a very specific goal, map out what needs to be done to get there, and create your route. All right, so there's five steps, and there's actually seven in the slide, but I just put five to trick you. <laughs> so number one is ask. And so I just want to give you this stupid rule that will help you guys see if you're doing well or if you're doing sucky. And I call it the 2% rule. Of the traffic you get, so if you get 100 visitors a day, 2% should be joining your newsletter in some form or another. That's it. Because I like knowing, I mean, it's like wealth. We all want to know we're doing comparatively better than our friends. And so this is letting you know if you're doing better than me or not. I like hitting 2% minimum. If you're not, you need to improve. So you need to be asking. So here's the stupidest one. The, we'll do it live, we'll do it live, and generally people are always like, oh, I already know this one. But it's just easy and you don't have to work on it. It's your email signature. And you're like, oh my God, is he gonna do this the whole time? <laughs> don't worry about it. What, does anyone here wanna do it live with me? Just take your phone out. It's okay, you guys are having your phone. The point is, and update your email signature. If you're on Android, I don't, I don't, it's like foreign to me, I don't know why you're on it. <laughs> Get an iPhone, just upgrade your life. So. Upgrade your life, it's good. So in your iPhone, go to settings, do this right now. Here's the thing, and this is not, email signature is stupid, and you guys have already, I know you already do it. Get your teammates to do it, get other people to do it that you work with, and change it regularly. So you do it in mail, in settings, mail, and scroll all the way to the bottom and edit your signature. Scroll to the bottom and then you edit your signature. Do it right now. I'll, I'll wait, I'll tell you something for 15 seconds while you guys are updating your signature. And you could blame me in it. The email signature is stupid. You guys already know it. You're, it's obvious. But what most people don't realize is you already have a lot of assets available to you. You're al always looking for the next thing, the next thing, the next thing. But you have LinkedIn contacts, which I'll talk about. You have your email signature. You have things that you don't really even have to do more work, and they're already available to you. And I'll show you a few more that you probably didn't even realize. Did anyone update their email signature? Did anyone actually do it? Yeah, what would you write? Did you put Noah Kagan? <laughs> Come eat tacos with me? What did you put for your email signature? Did you put like your website, like find out the coolest tips? <laughs> What's your website? 
Quattro.com. That's a great domain. <laughs> so check out the latest tips at Quattro.com. You realize that you send 300 e 100 emails a day, 365 days a year, it starts adding up. Now times that if you have a team of 10, now you're getting newsletter subscribers without having to do any extra work. So number two, optimize your top pages. I'm still on the ask section. Do you guys already, I don't know if you already know this, but basically I, I'm lazy on certain things. What I recommend is take your top five pages in Google Analytics, or in Sumo Me, we have a free tool called Google Analytics that'll show you your top five pages. 80% of your traffic goes to those pages. Don't worry about all the other pages. Don't worry about them. This is for my blog. Oh. So my home page, the blog, the Virgin guy, which is like my get started page, and then resources. These are my top five. I just spend most of my time on there, and I did my about page, because a lot of people go and check your about page. Don't worry about email collecting on every single article. It takes a lot of time. Do it on just the main ones. You could do that literally right now. Zone out from the rest of the speech and, <laughs> and update those pages. So how do you update those pages? I'll go to that a little bit later in the speech. Get your home page. So Sumo Me Welcome Mat, totally free. I'm sorry, if you want to give me money, you can't. I paid $2,500 and about a month and a half to get a designer to design it and then a, a developer to cut it up and implement it. So Welcome Mat does it for free, but this is what I did because most of my traffic goes to my home page. What you guys do, and this is what I want you to do on your homepage. On your homepage, how many actions get, do you give someone to take? It's one, and we all know that. Look at the top sites online. What's Google's thing? Search. What's Facebook's thing? Register. Amazon's thing? Search. And you guys are like, uh, oh, that's kind of an interesting thought. And you're like, my homepage is definitely great. Go to your homepage and see if there's more than one action that a customer can actually take. For my site, it's only subscribe to my newsletter, because that's what I want you to do. Second in the asking section, use Sumo Me, Scrollbox, or List Builder, totally free, integrates with Aweber. We are giving away these tools for free because of what we've built, and there's some pro options, that's how we make money. But for the most part, 96% of the product is free. So I use Scrollbox, or you can use a pop-up, which is List Builder. And those things alone, you just do that. Top five pages, your, welcome, your home page, using a welcome at, and List Builder or Scrollbox, and you are at the 2% rule, you're done. Go work on other things. All right, number two, launch a free course. So how many people, this is one of my, how many people have downloaded to the, the downloads folder cemetery of PDFs? You guys all have the, the, raise your hand, raise your hand. Who's downloaded a PDF to the cemetery in the downloads folder? RIP PDFs. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was going to say, can I get an amen, but that's just too far. So we've all downloaded PDFs that go to the dead folder. It's just actually renamed. How do you make it to the desktop? How do you make it to the inbox that they look forward to opening? The spouse effect is what I call that. I always open my girlfriend's emails, 100% open rate, 100% click through rate. <laughs> no bounces ever, no spam reports. I need to get like every one of our subscribers to be my girlfriend, that'd be wild. Um, <laughs> the, launching a free course is basically adding an additional value, to, perceived value and actual value to your customers. There's a lot of talk about give, 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 and then you take something and you give bullshit, but what happens is people are giving poo poo and they expect gold. That's why it goes to the deads folder. Dead loads, that's what I'm gonna call it from now on. So launching a free course, what does that entail? I launched one, you can sign up for it right now, totally free, there's no cross sells or down sells or diagonal sells. It's called email1k.com, you can get it on your phone, go check it out. In the course, I give you our course software for free again. I'm giving too much stuff for free. I don't like that. Uh, <laughs> no, it's, uh, sorry, I don't know, weird joke. So in email1k.com, the idea is I took all my content and I also got other people's content so they would promote it and I packaged it in a weekly series. You can do that with Aweber in your follow-up sequence. And every week you got a new piece of content that was very actionable and meaty that people actually looked forward to than a PDF that they're just gonna delete. You know why? Because this relates to college. In college you spend $60,000 and you go to courses and classes and this is what people actually perceive similarly. And that's why I've had a lot of success doing these. I think I've launched three of them. Uh, email1k.com, you should sign up on your phone and, and uh, you can actually see how to double your email list with different tips that we put together. And you can see it's also viral, when you subscribe you're encouraged to actually uh, invite your friends, because don't you want to bring your friends to class? Right, it's more fun. Alright, I'm going to do a quick intermission, how are we feeling? This side of the room? Alright, I'm going to do a quick thing real fast because I, I just kind of want to experiment. I'm going to do the wave, we're going to do the wave like this way, and then if, I, if the speech is really good we'll go backwards. You guys ready? Ready to do the wave this way? All right, wave. There it is. Oh, I really like this one. Oh. You guys should have seen it. It was gorgeous. Put your hands together for yourself real fast. That was great. That was cool.
Is that kind of fun or is that just me? It's kind of cool. All right, number four, giveaways. So I gave away Seth Godin's books. My audience likes Seth Godin. I want marketers. The books cost me $83. I just bought them out of pocket. I put it on a software called kingsuma.com. And then once you enter, you can get more entries by sharing. I think I got around 3,000 plus subscribers. Let's say we value people, if each customer is worth $3, or each subscriber is worth $3, let's say that's $9,000. That's a good ROI. $9,000 divided by 83. So these won't work all the time, so don't go crazy, because we actually did go crazy on them. We did them every week for the, like three months. And it, eventually, a lot of people who want to sign up for stuff like this go away. But what I realized is that you can actually do co-marketed ones, which are really powerful. So you do it with someone else. So you find a partner in your equivalent field, and you do one, and then you share the people who join it. And you make it very clear, hey, you're going to be joining both companies' newsletters, but hopefully there's a prize that they're incentivized enough to want to sign up for. You guys want something good or no? Yes. Just you? Just me. Yes? yes? yes. All right. So this is how the contest did when we launched one of them. We used to have like 10,000 subs, and now we have 43,000 subs on Twitter, which I really don't care about social that much, to be real. But it, you get a lot of followers and stuff because they want to share and tweet your stuff when they join a giveaway. All right, so you wanted the good stuff. I'm just going to give this stuff. It's only going to be, I think, available today. So that King Sumo, the giveaway software that we, I showed you, our giveaway software we custom built for ourselves, I just made it free for you guys. Yeah. I don't know why. It's like a free day here. Thank you. You're welcome. Please don't tweet that out. Like, don't publicly share it. Seriously, because like, we, we make money on this every day, and I'm going to be broke, and I'm going to be like, asking you guys for jobs. <laughs> That'd be weird if I, had a pl if I applied at your company. How awkward would that be? So again, it's 100% it's free. There's not like a catch. I'm sorry. I need to do more catches. I mean, gotcha. Got him. So use kingsuma.com. It's free software for your giveaways. It's a WordPress plugin. Uh, it handles everything, the legalities, all that stuff. A few other things you can read, right? Yeah, you guys can read those. Get promoters, remind entrants on the last day, and give, don't give away your product. The people already know your product. So like if you're SEM rush, give away something that's complimentary, something with keywords, maybe with lead pages, maybe a Sumo Me product, something that a, your customer would be excited to join. And then possibly do co-marketing where you work with someone else. So if you're in Heyo, maybe it's with Sumo Me. Like what kind of companies are you guys in, the two ladies? Um, um, yeah, we're a firm. Man, what's, what kind of management? You guys manage the facilities? Wow, that's cool. So you guys could do something with the restaurant. Or who are your customers? Who are you trying to appeal to? Really? That's cool. So what kind of, I'm just curious. Do you think, is there any giveaway you guys could do that would appeal to those construction people? Like hard hats? Like YMCA songs? I don't know. <laughs> like, is there anything that would make sense in this? Other what? Okay. So one of the things that could be interesting for that, just a quick example. So they work for management facilities with like really rich people uh, that do construction. Is that about right? Close enough. So what are really rich people? They already have a lot of money, so it's an experience. So you could do a giveaway to a Phillies game that's a VIP game. And then email these people and say, hey, guess what? We've got a VIP Phillies event I'd love to invite you on. And we only have about 10 seats available. You should apply to see if you can get it. That's a great way to just email a cold email if you guys want to do something like that. All right, test. So where's Monica? She's not here. Monica literally emailed me. She's like, you just have to say A-B tests. That's all I have to say. And now I can, then my speech is good. <laughs> and so I was like, all right, fine. I'll show you some A-B. Do you guys want to see some A-B tests? Why do people love A-B tests so much? They all fail. All my life is failure. It's like 10% is good, and that's the part I get to talk about on stage. So <laughs> I mean, A-B tests, we've calculated almost 85% of our A-B tests have failed. That means if you think about our days, only Friday is a good day. We put on Rebecca Black and we go wild. <laughs> Most of our stuff fails. It's pretty depressing. All right, so this is a cool A-B test. So we buy ads. We're, right now we're spending $3,200 a day buying ads. So we have some experience on it. Or we're just dumb. Uh, <laughs> hopefully it's smart. So we had two home pages. And I'm going to show you both. And then you tell me we'll do which test one. All right, so this is the homepage currently if you go to sumi.com or this one. All right, so who's voting for A and who's voting for B? A's? Okay, 
Excuse me? And Bs? Okay, pretty fair. Pretty fair split. And this is straight from our Facebook ads. And the winner is B. It was B. So, and it's almost twice as effective. And I'll just tell you the exact thing that you need to be doing. If, if you're doing a Facebook ad or your homepage again, I'll remind you. That's why we have Welcome App by SumoMe. Let me just show you the example. So here, when you come to it, there's literally nothing else you can do. This is like 85% of the page, and there's like Pat Flynn's photo. Because when you get Pat Flynn, you get an extra 10% conversion rate. Uh, <laughs> that's a fact. So on our homepage, oh, pardon me. On our homepage, you can scroll, you can share, you can click to a few different things. The majority, again, yes, the top part above the fold is just this, but there's other things on it. And when, uh, for our ads, we literally doubled our conversions, just re removing everything on the bottom. So it's something to consider and test if you guys are doing ads or your homepage again, uh, to growing emails or whatever action you want people to take. Uh, remove page distractions. A lot of you have blogs. It's popular this year, content marketing, real big, uh, <laughs> I guess. On my blog, it sounds, it sounds like a diary. On my diary online, uh, I had a bunch of stuff on the side. So assuming we, we have a thing called heat maps, it's free, and you can see where people are clicking. And I found out no one clicked on my side stuff. Like I have my photo there, my face, that one. Uh, email subscribe, my top post, all this stuff. Ads, I don't think I had ads, but like I had a banner on there, a bunch of different stuff. No one clicked. So I removed it. So try out heat maps and see where people are clicking and not. If they're not clicking where you want, change it. If they're not clicking things that don't matter, remove them. And I just killed my whole sidebar. If you go to okdork.com and go, to the, go inside of it, there's nothing there. It's just the content. That's all I want you to do. And then you subscribe because you're not clicking this or doing anything this, with this anyway. So when you see the scroll box or the list builder from Sumi come out, you'll go and take action on that. Another one. This is called content analytics. It's free as part of Sumi. What I, it's really depressing. So I'd write these like, bi, uh, like epic stories. Like I'm like, this is like, there's like the Bible, the Eagles, and then this blog post I just wrote in terms of like importance. <laughs> You guys ever write something that you're like, this is so good, the world needs to know? And, you, <laughs> and no one reads it. You all know what I'm talking about? Yes. Wow. Right? Yes. I'm, like, oh. I'm like, everyone should read this blog post in the world. And uh, content analytics is depressing. Actually, don't use this tool. It'll depress you. And why it depresses you is that most of my blog posts, and maybe it's me, but this is true for your sites, only 36% if you can't see that number. They only make it 36% down to the page. That's how I felt. <laughs> right here, a little so try content analytics. And what I, you can do with that, though, is the power. The power is that you can remove the distractions. You can move CTAs up to where you need them to be. So if they're only getting to 36%, maybe cut some of the text. Maybe put a CTA there, a call to action, like a button or a link, a content upgrade, whatever it is, at that point. But you need to understand, on the, and probably do this just on your top five pages and you'll learn a lot. All right, leverage. How are we on time? Five. Okay. Is it 5 p.m.? Or five minutes left? Okay. Um, so in terms of leverage, the email thing is leverage. This, the email signature that a few of you guys, guys and girls did is that once you do it, you never have to touch it again. And that's the kind of stuff I love. So if you do a tweet or you do anything social, Try to use, I, use uh, I don't use yet. I'm kind of lazy about this because it's not my priority. But re-promote stuff. So you can use Meet Edgar. And this is an example. I literally tweeted the same thing in one day. And it doubled the amount of clicks. So think about, can I just set anything on autopilot? I know uh, Adam and I were talking at ClickFunnels where he's like, I just need my stuff promoted. Throw your stuff in Meet Edgar. It is not free. Uh, a friend of mine, Laura, made it. But the idea here is you just throw all your, your stuff in, all your tweets, all your Facebook, and it just recycles them. And every day you're going to get 100 people or 50 people or 200 people a day without doing any extra work. If you want, don't use Meet Edgar, do it manually. If you want to be in between, use Buffer. But the whole point is just think about what is leverage, what is something I can reuse instead of always having to create something new. Two other things I'll do real quickly. Double opens. I do this in AWeber only on important emails and it kills. A double open is I take all of my non-opens from the first email, which is 80%. Imagine going to the bank, you give them a dollar and they give you 20 cents back. That's what you're doing with every one of your emails. Isn't that crazy? That's crazy talk. My mom would not allow that. <laughs> so double open is when you take the non-opens and you email them a week later with a new subject line. 
and you'll generally get about 20 to 30% overall more opens in your, in your email. Don't do it all the time, because some people don't record when it's open or not, but for an important email, a sales email, a promotion email, something you want to get attention on, imagine going from a 20% open rate to now 30 or 40%. Was it clear how to do that? Yes? In AWeber, yeah. In AWeber, yeah, you just click non-opens. Uh, you can see the non-opens, send them an email, change the subject line, do it a week later. Secondly, prioritize your drip emails. So the best thing is if you guys have subscribers, they don't, may not have seen your best stuff. So just take your best stuff in order of open rates and put them in like a five week follow up series in AWeber. That's what I do. I literally like took all my emails, I'm like which had the highest open rate, took the top five or 10 and just threw them in order of the highest open rates. So prioritize your drip emails. Uh, lazy webinar method, real quickly. Find someone that has your audience or find someone that has an audience that, that you want. <laughs> Agree on a webinar, have them do all the work and then you guys share all the new customers. I know it sounds, it's too good to be true because it is, right? So again, well you guys can read it, but basically, so we do this at Sumami. We find someone who wants our audience and we want their audience. So we promote them. We're like, yo, check out Brian Balfour. This is my buddy Brian. Then I said, Brian, you should tell your audience about the webinar. He did, so we get exposure to 50,000 new people. Then Brian comes on and does the whole webinar because he wants exposure to these people and we didn't have to do really anything besides send one email. And now we can put those emails and the recorded webinars in our drip. The leverage, come back, yeah, see? Oh, that head nod is priceless. Man, I, if I could record that, put it in a Giphy or something like that. She did this head nod, I was like, yup. That was a yup. Take your best emails, put them back in your drip, or highest revenues, back in the drip. All right, lastly, bonus time. I'm just gonna share this with you. I don't, I've only shared this one other time publicly. AppSumo's at a mo almost a million subscribers. We, make, we do make some money. Uh, and it's pretty popular. These are the four major things we've done to grow to a million subscribers. These are the four major. Giveaways, which I showed you, King Sumo, it's free for you. Please do not share that publicly, and I think I'll end it by the end of today. I'm not gonna keep it open forever. <laughs> no, 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 you go register. Uh, I gotta eat. <laughs> I gotta eat. <laughs> yeah, baby daddy gotta eat. All right, niche paid sponsorships. What that means is that if a market is efficient, it's expensive. That means if you go to Facebook ads, you have me competing against you for those people, it's expensive. What I don't have though is small niche sites. So like FinCon for example, if you guys aren't going to FinCon, it's one of my favorite events, second to Ascend. And I, when I ran marketing at mint.com, I went and sponsored every single personal finance blogger. That's how I know all of them, because I also was a personal finance blogger. So niche paid sponsorships, find niche sites and search for them, or if you're in the field, you should know them, and pay them 500 bucks a month, and you will get generally cheaper subscribers than you would from ads on Facebook or a place where the market's more efficient. Cross-promotion bundling is kind of like the lazy webinar method. I would bundle companies together. So for the construction, bundle like the different companies, bring them together, and then incentivize them to promote the bundle. So in anything, in real estate, can you partner with a lawyer? If you're in Facebook promotion, can you partner with Twitter promotion? or meet Edgar, and do a bundle together and have everyone promote, and generally, if you host it, you get all the new signups. But they're incentivized to promote it. The other people are, does that make sense? Because if you get them all together, they want to have their bundle promoted. And then free products, not the dead loads products, but good free products. We would spend $1,000 to $2,000 per product that we give away for free. And this is literally, we're, we do one free product a month still. If we did one two days ago with Todoist, I wish I could show it on my laptop, but it got us 10,000 new subscribers promoting someone else's product and all we had to do was send one email. It's a great product and it does take us time to find them and negotiate some of that, but free products, either yours or others, is a great way to build your email list, especially a relationship, if it's a good product. So just to remind you, I generally don't like doing a bunch of stuff. With Sumo we do two things. We do Facebook ads and now we do content. Find one to two things and then 10X on it. That's it, I want you to find your two activities that we talked about and 10X on it. So after one year, honestly, I haven't even really touched okay to work in the, this whole year because I've been working on Sumo Me. And so at the end of last year, I was at 55,000 subscribers. Currently, I'm at 116,000 because I set all that stuff up that I showed you and I just log into AWeber. We could, I mean, Tom probably checks my stats. Um, <laughs> I'm sure he has better stuff to do. But I have 116,000 plus people now because I set up those things like the email 1K, Sumo me, the giveaways, when well, giveaways was in the past, but those things, and they just keep producing. So, but wait, there's more, oh gosh. Uh, that's my face, if you want some of the things I've talked about, if you want some of my sheets, go to okdork.com slash 50K, and um, we're gonna do that clap thing and then I'm out.
Can you guys all stand up? We'll do the clap thing all together at once. You don't have to do the. Let's get it all together because this is how we end the meetings. Ready, Nathan? Dashing. Y'all, it has to be. If, it, if there's one person out of sync, it does not work, and you'll know, and we'll blame them. <laughs> all right, spirit fingers, ready? We all ready? This is so cool. Can I take a photo real fast? Let me send it to my mom. She's like, I can't believe people listen. So cool. All right, hold on. <laughs> no, she really does. She wanted to watch this. All right. Ready? On the count of three. One, two, three. Money. Thank you. <laughs>